tour or something they're like like events that are like have explanations and these explanations would be like deterministic or indeterministic like things that would be necessitating or non-necessitating these causal events that have explanations you're referring to? I, I don't know what you mean by deterministic like you're using all these deterministic means that necessitating don't... deterministic okay. means necessitating 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 what D- just necessitating that's what the word means so i'm saying are you referring to explanations that are like necessitating or non-necessitating no, i'm just talking about a series of events that happen like for, for that, example yeah like, those those that, events that, can be those events can be necessitating Okay, why would it matter if it's that or not? Like, what's the relevance? I'm, I'm saying, are you referring? I'm saying, are you referring to those? Like, what type of events are you referring to? When you say normal events, these things can be entailed than causal events. So I'm saying, are you referring to causal events? Okay, and what I'm saying is that, like, your explanation of causal events doesn't really make sense to me. But since this is my argument, right? I'm telling you that what, the type of event it, it, it is. It doesn't, it doesn't have. It doesn't, doesn't, so if it doesn't, so, so what do you mean by normal? Like, just events in general. Like if these things happen, right? What then are it can, events? It can lead, what do you, it can lead to? What do you oh, think? Let me, let me let me pull up the definition. Hold up, of events. Okay. Uh, Go forth. Okay, a thing that happens or takes place or takes place. A thing that can happen or take place. No, so, a thing that that does happen and takes place, like a thing that did okay. happen. Okay. So, what type of events are they? Okay, there's like public events. There's like. It's just a thing that takes place. So, like the creation of the universe, for example, since that's like relevant to this okay, topic, so the would be an, the, that is would the, be is the creation of the universe like causal. Okay. Uh, again, I don't know why you keep getting back to this causal thing. Like you asked me for my definition of event, and I gave you know what causal means. Do you know what causal means? No, and I don't know what. No, I don't know what that okay, means. Okay, so that's why you think it offensive. Cool. I'll explain what causal means. Causal means is this event something within causality like this thing happened therefore the effect of it was this for example god creates the universe therefore for the effect of it was creating the universe okay and, and what type of like event would be non-causal then um something that's self-causing something that's self-causing yeah something okay. like that oh, okay so so what i'm so saying when you say so when I, you say so when you say god so when you say god created the universe are you referring to a causal event yeah so like yeah so it's not a self-causing thing right okay so so now now that we've got that out the way what i'm saying is that like events are kind of like dominoes right since like uh how do i explain this uh like uh, as this series of um events a series of events is like dominoes falling one after the after each other right uh and it's until like the the first domino right so it's like okay if 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 like the universe was infinite right what that would entail, right, is that like the dominoes, if they were pushed down, they would just never end and we'd never get to a beginning, right? And if we never got to a beginning, right, that just wouldn't make sense because like it would have to have a start because that that's what would like cause the other events, right? Wait, 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 wait. I kept getting booted off. Go, go, restate what you just, restate what you had said. You kept getting what? Oh my God, just restate what you had said. Okay. So what I'm saying is like a series of events is like a sequ- it's like a sequence of dominoes falling one after t- after each other, right? And then I'm like, what I'm saying is that like um no series which are formed by like adding one after the after each other can be in- infinite because you can't pass through an infinite number of elements like one at a time. Why, like, why you can't you? Why can't you? What do you mean? Why 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 can't? Sorry, I'm asking why can't you? Because, like, okay, I'll give an analogy, right? You, you know what numbers are, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, can you count to infinity? Mm, why can't you? I'm asking you a question. Yeah, I don't know. I'm saying if I'm saying that question, I think that question was like, like what you were gonna say due to that question. I think that question was like responsatory. Okay, so like so whatever, I... so like whatever I said, so like whatever I had said what you had responded to, what you had responded to, to what I said, it would be like a, it would depend on what I answer that question to be. So for example, if I said yes, you'd respond to that question such as, okay, so that's why. Or if I said no, then you'd be like, okay, well, that's not the case. You know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, I'm saying, if I said, so I'm saying, if I, so I'm saying the purpose of what you just said, right? 
the purpose of what you had just said that was dependent upon what like I would have said. So I'm saying if I were to say I don't know, then what would you have said then? Or maybe if I were to say no, then what how would you prove that burden? Mm -hmm. I'm asked I'm saying because that question because that question falls in line with like an entailed assertion, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I get that. And the point of that was like if you agree I wouldn't have to like give an explanation. But since you don't want to give answer, I can I can get into that, right? Okay, not necessarily is, that I, it's not necessarily that I don't want to. It's more of that I wouldn't know. So okay, I you guess you know. can say that I, it's okay. I guess it's say that referring to something that regards within uh, a mathematical theory or whatever, I would not know how to. Oh, okay. that. uh, I'd okay, almost yeah, be remaining. Fine. I'd almost be remaining agnostic towards yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I can go into, uh, into it for you. Okay, so the thing is, no matter how, how high you can, right, there's always an infinite. Uh, there's always an infinite amount of numbers to count left. So there would be no progression, right? So it's like if you can't count to an infinite like number, right? That would that would like with that same logic, we can come to the conclusion that like the universe would have to have a start. Otherwise, like there would, those series of events would not have been able to have passed like by now. There would be no progression. But we know that there is progression. So so that what that means is like the universe would have to have a start. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask a question. How do you know the formation of the universe works in analogous towards the way that mathematics would work? Because you use the analogy, since something about infinity, right? You're saying that, well, if this is the case, and there can't be an infinite series, there has to be a starting point. Within mathematics, okay. you're saying okay. that the universe would have to work the same. So I guess I'd have to ask you, one, how would you know it's analogous? And two... If you are claiming to be analogous, how do you go forth to prove that? Okay, so the thing is, I, I gave like the reasoning as to why I'm using these two things as examples, right? So, for example, I gave reasoning as to why I'm using like a series of events to be like dominoes, right? So, can you can point you out like that? a? Okay, sure. A series of events happen one after the after each other, right? You fine with that? A series of events would happen one. How do you know this is always the case? Okay, because. Oh my god, okay. This this kind of seems like writing, but I can get into it, right? Okay, so a series of events. Do you know what a series is? Well, it's not necessarily writing. It's just that when we refer to it's just that when we refer to series and when we refer to these events, there are multiple types of events. As I said in the beginning, there are causal events, self causing events, and even events outside of causality that can take place. So I'm, okay, I'm well, saying when you're referring to like, wait, wait, hold on. So I'm saying that. when you're referring to an event. It's not necessarily that I'm ratting or I'm being a sophist. It's that I think that you're not being clear enough. And that way you're supposing is vague. So that's why if I ask a question, I'm just asking for a bit more clarity on behalf of what you mean. So we can get to a general consensus here. And so there's no like misunderstanding. Okay. Well, I, I didn't think there would be misunderstandings with like definitions of words. Okay. A well, series, it's not necessarily, know. that's not necessarily that there's like a misunderstanding of words here. It's that, these words can mean multiple things. No, no, no. There, there is a misunderstanding of words, right? Because I know what I'm word you're. I know. I know what word. Uh, when you say there's a misunderstanding in words, you're referring to almost a scholastic indifference. But I'm saying here, right, that when you're saying that, um, supposedly, that when you're referring to an event, I'm saying that if you're going to refer to a causal event or whatever type of event, you've got to be clear about it. I want to know what you mean by that. Okay, so 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 what I'm saying is, okay, we don't even have to get into these things that don't matter, right? We don't have to get into why you're writing or not. That's just like slight comments I made. You don't have to. I was just, I, I was just, I was just saying that, like, I wasn't necessarily trying to be a sophist or rat against you. I just, I just request clarity so we can yeah. uh, okay. get past yeah, yeah, this without fine. one that's of us fine. having to stonewall each other, or one of us yeah, having yeah, to accidentally. That's, that's still man each other i i've understood that's fine okay so i'll just read out like the definition of series i'm using right i'm saying a series is a number of events uh objects or people of a similar or related kind coming one after the other that's what a series is so i'm saying a series of events these things come one after after each other right and in that same way dominoes come after one each other one knocks the other one one knocks the other one that's how it works right so that's why like i'm using that as a comparison so if you want to say okay. that's not analogous, you'd have to attack my reasoning, or it just stands. Mm -hmm. So I'll just have to say this: you referred to you referred to this being a causal event, and 
I guess I guess I'll have to ask this. Do you do do you think God is outside of causality? Do I think God is outside of causality? Uh, mm-hmm. I, okay, hold up. And by causality, you mean like he can't like, be self causing, right? I, I I guess I'll ask this. Do you think he's Do you think he's atemporal? Do I think he's atemporal? Okay, define atemporal. Um, being outside of temporality. Okay, well, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just relate this to what you said uh, earlier about causality and all that, and I'll say yes, God is outside of that. Okay, and you refer to this being a causal event, correct? And I called and I and I like uh, the creation of the universe itself, sure, like the, the, okay. and stuff like that, like so not God mean, himself. So this would mean God would have to cause this to be. Yeah, and my reasoning for that would be like if like uh God is uh what do you call it? Uh, hold up. Uh, my reasoning for that would be like for someone to create something that's like not eternal, right? That would mean that like God would have to be outside of these things. But I don't know why like we're getting into this. Do you do you understand what a performative contradiction is? Why what? A performative contradiction is. No, we can go into that. Okay. Performative contradiction is an action being contradictory to one's uh stance to one's ideology to one's speech, to one's command, or to one's being in itself. Okay. So when you say God is a temporal outside of causality, does, does that, did, I, I, I'd have to answer with the following question. Did God, did God create causality? Did God create causality? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold up, why does that matter? Oh, it's, it's relevant. It was just a question that I had. Okay. Well, if it's not relevant, I don't. I don't have to answer it. Wait. No, I just said it is relevant. It's a question. Okay. I, I asked you why it's relevant, and you said it's because relevant. when I'm referring to, because when I'm referring to, when you're referring to causality, right? This is going to lead up into what I have to say next, into my next contention, which is why it's relevant. Okay. So that's something that only works for your contention, right? So can you just give your contention instead of like beating around well, the I, bush? Well, this is hold on. It's. I just said it's relevant because it has to do with my contention. Do you think my contentions are relevant to you? Okay, so it's not relevant to the argument I'm making. Okay, page, 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 page. If I'm giving page, 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 am I giving a contention towards your argument? Yes or no? No, you're saying that like this will lead up to. So, Can you just give? So your contention I'm not giving a contention. How do you know I'm not giving a contention to your argument? You just you don't said know it's leading up to your contention, so it's not your contention itself. It, my contention. If it's irrelevant to my contention, my contention is relevant to your stance. That means it, it, the question itself is relevant. Okay, so so my stance on this, right? It, it your only stance is God's you... existence, correct? No, I'm talking about like the thing you're talking about. Oh, your about, stance right? not God's existence? My stance is God's existence. Why okay, so then that? that it's a yes. So anyways, okay. as I said before, Aristotle, are you listening? Can you mic up? Hello? Aristotle, I can't hear you. Can you guys hear him? No. Aristotle, I relieve and rejoin. Uh, someone move him back up. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so I asked him the question. I'm assuming you know where I'm going to go with this, but I asked him the question, did God create causality? He's asking why it's relevant. I gave the response. It is relevant because it is leading up to my contention, and my contention is directly against your point, which is why it's relevant to the debate as a whole. I think, I think he's asking why does he need to answer uh, the question for your contention to work? Well, yeah. because he's simple. it's an entailed because it's an entailed assertion. He's saying that God created ev- well, well, I guess I'll ask this. You're saying God created everything, correct, Page? No. I said God created. I mean, oh, like, no. do you want me to give my? He definition? didn't create everything. Do you want me to give my definition? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Answer my question. So, we, so he's not. So he didn't create everything. Okay, okay. You keep asking questions that are irrelevant. All wait, no, no, no. Don't, no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't cut me off. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't move on. I'm asking. You're so asking are you saying he doesn't? How am I cutting you off? Answer, answer the question then. Okay, so listen are you to what saying I'm he saying. didn't? To what I'm are you saying, saying he didn't? Okay, listen wait, to what I'm saying. No, I'm no, not no, saying. Wait, answer. I haven't said. Wait, wait, wait. Just answer my question. Are you saying he created everything or didn't create everything? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is hard for you. Why are you not answering my question? Why are you not answering my question? Let, let me talk. I gave you a chance. Why are you not answering my question? Why are you not answering my question? Why are you not answering my question? Answer my question. Answer my question. Answer my question. Okay, so the previous point we're talking about contention oh questions that like I find to be irrelevant. It's like you're trying to get me to prove your contention to be true. If that's you can't like case. if you if you don't mm-hmm. have a basis for your contention, that's not my fault. So stop making me ask answer questions that like don't help me at all because I don't have to. All I have to prove is that God exists. If you want me to give my definition for that, I can, but I'm not gonna answer questions that don't help me. Is that simple? Do you understand okay. what I'm saying? So as I was saying, okay. So as I was saying. I'm going to ask this again, okay? And I'll tell you why it's relevant. Because if you don't answer a question to why as to why God, if God created causality or not, that means essentially there'd be no base for you saying that he can do this causal event or that he could create temporality. Unless you're, unless you're going to direct opposition as to why time is not entailed or is entailed by causality. And if you're going to say that, then I'd like to hear your reasonings for why. Okay. So, you, so either way, you're going to have to, wait, wait, wait. So either way, you're going to have to answer the question. Or I'm going to take it to be that he didn't create causality. Okay. So what I'm getting this to be is that it can go like a few ways. One, you don't have a basis for your contention, right? So you can't contend my argument. Two, and then like, I'm because I'm definitely not going to like answer questions that don't help me. Two, you're just going to give up your contention straight away and we can get into that. Or three, like we're just going to have to like conclude this and then, like, the judge will decide whether or not, like, I, I argued enough that, like, I don't have to answer your question. So, so I mean, which one do you want it to be? Okay. So, it's not going to be either. What's going to be is you answer, since I already explained its relevancy, so it's either this. Either you prove that it's irrelevant, or you simply say, right? Or you simply say, or answer my question. Because I've already explained why this question is relevant fully. Right. Thank you. If you're not Thank going you. to say, if you're not going to say, if you're not going to say why it's relevant, or then you're going to have to answer my question. If you're not going to answer my question, then essentially you're saying it's not relevant, and you Thank haven't, you. and you haven't actually proved that it's not relevant. So at that Thank point, you. we'd be going off the baseline assumption that he did not create causality, which then would give me an opening to give my contention. So yes or no? Are you, I mean, are you going to let me give my contention? Uh, okay. Or are you just, are you going to, are you going to let me give my contention? Or are you going to justify why my, what I just said right now, the question is not relevant? Because I've already explained why it's relevant. So what's your contention okay. to my explanation to why, as to why it's I'm relevant? Gonna, okay, yeah, I'll go into that. Okay. So you explain why it's relevant to your contention and that your contention is relevant to the debate, which is fine, right? But then if I'm making an argument and this thing's only relevant to your contention, it's like you need this opening to give contention. I don't need to give you this opening to continue with the debate, right? So if something's just relevant to your contention, that doesn't mean it's relevant to the argument I am making, okay? So I don't have to, like, give you help. I don't have to hold your hand whilst you give a, ca- a counter mm-hmm. argument. So I think I've already explained enough why, like, you didn't show it's relevant to the right thing. You didn't show that, like, it's relative to my argument. Or you said, and I quote you word for word, mm-hmm. it will make an opening for my contention. I don't think I have to give mm-hmm. you an opening for your contention. So if you don't have a basis for your contention and you can't, like, actually give a counter argument without me holding your hand, then we can move on. Okay, so you're describing me, or you're describing as me forcing you to hold my hand. But what I said specifically was, I want you to give a contention, the reason, or I want you to answer my question. Now, I answered how my question is in itself a contention itself, or is in itself a clarifying question. And I'm asking for clarification so we can properly progress. Now, okay. if you're not, now, I explained why my thing right now was relevant. Right now, your contention to it not being relevant was saying it's not in contention to my direct argument. But actually, it doesn't have to be in contention. My stance is agnosticism, which is a state of not knowing. So I'm asking a clarifying question so I can further more understand your argument. And if you're not going to answer my question, and if you're not going to answer this clarifying question as to why you can't answer my question, and if you're not going to explain your argument furthermore, then I'm going to make baseline assumptions about your argument. And these baseline assumptions would be justified based off the fact that you're saying, oh, okay, well, I don't have to answer this. Okay, so therefore, so now you're... therefore, I'm not done. Therefore, right, it would make it apparent that in reality, 
I'd be just, or what's it called? I'd be just, uh, what's it called? Winning this. <laughs> or at least this over point. So as I said before, are you going to answer my question? Or shall we conclude as to why it's relevant? Because I think at this point, the best thing that'd be good for you is to just conclude. Okay. So to attack your clarification point, right? Clarifying just helps you find out the best way to give your contention. It's not a necessity. Ho, ho, I said I'm clear. Oh, no, 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 you're misinterpreting my argument. You're misunderstanding 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 my argument. That's a straw man. That's a straw man. That's, that's fine, you can man. attack that at the end. If you think straw that's man. what's happening, right? That's you can attack man. that at the end. I didn't interrupt that's a straw you. Let man. me finish talking. That's a straw Let me man. finish talking. But you're straw manning me. Okay. We won't be able but to I get said, anywhere if you keep you're straw manning every me. time I talk. All right? You're straw so I'm going to continue talking. And if you want to see straw man, man straw man, whilst I'm talking, you're just I'm going to continue man. making the argument. He's anyway. just straw man. If you don't hear it, he's literally you can't straw hear it, and you can't contend it, that's not my problem, okay? He's so I've explained why I can make my argument. Okay, so what I was saying man. earlier, right, oh was God. that like the clarification point only helps him like make an op opening for his contention. And I don't think I have to do that for him. So it's only like, it's not even a necessity. So I don't think we have to get into that. So all I'm going to say is I would attach a clarification point. You weren't, able, you weren't able to prove that like it's relevant to my argument. You just want help in giving your contention because you don't have any, right? Because as of right now, you have no way to contend my argument, okay? So we can just move on, and, like, we can leave this point up to the judge. So do you have any real contention, or are you just going to, like, concede the debate or something? Because it needs to move on. Okay, so anyways, right. As I said before, I'm going to give my exact same contention. I'm going to explain why you straw meant it. What I said before that I need help, or I need to clarify with you so I can understand your point, right? I feel like right now you're just trying to be rhetorically dominant and not actually focus on what I'm saying. Like in the beginning, it was seen that like when I was trying to explain to you the different ways that events can happen and the different things that can happen since you just had no idea what these words mean. So you just instantly start being like, like semantical or not even semantical, but you just start being so defensive and not actually understanding what I'm saying. Regard, rather, you just start trying to rhetoric your way through this and not actually win the point. So I'm going to give my actual like, contention, like, again, as to why you're saying this isn't relevant. So if you're going to say this, right, I told you that I want you to clarify and answer the question, did he create er, causation? Because this is a clarifying point. Now, this question isn't necessarily made to give me an opening. That was my other question. This question is just like a, a clarifying thing as to why, uh, or as to your point, so we can furthermore progress. Now, clarifying questions need to be answered because at that moment, right, if you're not going to answer my question, then that can leave opening for fallacious reasonings such as a non sequitur, such as a straw man, such as multiple fallacious reasonings. And I want us to avoid committing logical fallacies and rather trying to get to the general consensus of the debate. So I'm saying to you, Paige, right, that you never actually explain why it's not relevant. Your contention to it was a complete and utter straw man towards why I was asking this clarifying question, meaning everything you had just said was dumbfounded and not actually contending what I had said, meaning there's no point in moving on because what you had just said had nothing to do with what I had just said. Now, if you're asking or if you're saying that we should go to conclusions, that's fine. I'm okay with going to conclusions. But I figure that after I'm talking, we should instantly go to conclusions because right now, us bickering back and forth over and over and over is not going to get us anywhere. Okay. And we can ask, and we can ask, right? We can ask Aristotle. Actually, I'm going to ask Aristotle after this. Do you think we should go to conclusions? Aristotle, do you think, can we go to conclusions? No, I have something to say first. What do you have to say? Okay, so so like this whole like oh you're just appealing to rhetoric stuff. This sounds like you just want to like, find an excuse for you losing. That's fine. Okay, so as I as I was saying before, right? Like uh, I'm gonna just use your own logic against you because when like I asked you a question, you didn't want to answer it, right? So I'm gonna just say this. Okay, if God did create casualty or He didn't, how would that help you? Explain how that would lead to your next contention. So, 
partiality. I'm assuming you didn't listen to me again, right? This has nothing to do with what I'm saying. This has nothing to do with a contention. It's a clarifying question. I don't, all, it's basically all I have to do. I don't just have to provide clarifying questions, dude. Right? Or not clarifying, but I just don't have to, I don't have to provide just contentions with what you're saying. I can ask questions as to what you mean in order to avoid strongmans or anything, and in order to get what you're doing. Right? I'm just going to take it that you didn't listen to me. And okay, that what so. you had said, I'm not done. And that what you had said, right? Everything you had said, this was utterly a straw man again, right? So I'm going to say this. We should go to conclusions, right? Because at this point, you're just straw manning me and you're just not understanding what I mean. And if you're going con to continue to straw man me, then I'm just going to say, okay, well, at that point, this is getting nowhere and this point is just going to be regressing. Okay. So... I think that we should go to conclusions. Do you agree? No. Okay. So I'm gonna just make one more point. All right. So you're saying okay. that I'm like you're saying that like I'm not listening, right? I find that funny because like you said you're clarifying. Now you changed it to like you're clarifying it, and it doesn't lead up to your contention, right? But the first thing I said when you asked me the question is I'm not saying any of that. So you asked me, am I saying this or are you saying that? And I said no, I'm not saying either of that. And then I repeated my argument and told you this argument is the thing I'm pushing forward. So if you didn't hear me when I said that, like, no, I'm not saying uh, any of those things, then, like, that's your problem. But at least now you know. Okay, so now that you know that, like, what I said was um, my response to that sort of, like, clarification question was, no, I'm not saying either of those things, right? Can you now give your contention or, like, do you not have any real contention? Just answer that and we can move on. Okay, so anyways, as I've said before, right? If you're not going to answer my clarifying question, then I'm just going to have to assume what you mean. And by that, I take it right, that you mean that he did not create the causation. And dad quality in chat. <laughs> I hope you know that I'm, A, I'm devil's advocating. Two, the agnostic community. Agnostic is just a state of disbelief. Do you understand that? Do you understand what a state of disbelief is, dad quality? Uh -huh. So if you're going to say that instead that I'm just doing semantic wordplay, that is all a state of disbelief is. You're asking, you're trying to get to the semantics so you can understand. Oh, uh, actually, so, you're debating me. Not so I'm saying, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm saying that quality, like, if you're not going to, if you're not going to go, is there not a group of people that are agnostic? Do you know what agnosticism is? Matter of fact, what if I just get you the denotation? What do you think this says? What does this say? Read for me what this says. What does this say, Dad Quality? What does this say? Read it out loud for me. Are you capable of reading? Are you? Oh, you stopped typing. Oh, I wonder why. Ha ha ha. Yeah, exactly. Shut your mouth. You're literally so stupid. Anyways, so back to Paige. Right? Again, I'm asking this clarifying question right? so I can understand. If you're not going to answer the question, I'm just going to assume that he didn't create causality, which would just give me room to, or not even give me room to just mean. I have to attack your other thing, right? So, and uh, to your straw mans, if you're going to admit to being fallacious and at that point, just say, uh, <laughs> just say, um, what's it called? Just say that you're going to conclusions. Like, if you're going to just, if you're going to just try to like retort your way through this and be like, oh, well, I think that we should go towards my point and that you should just concede or like, dude, that's not going to help you in the situation. Like, you may win the chat over, that's fine, but at the end of the day, we're debating. We're not having a rhetoric off, bro. So, I mean, again, since you said that was your final point that you're going to make up, and we just agreed to, get, to go to conclusions, I conclude, you conclude, right? And then, you know, the judge gives his verdict. Because I, I feel like this point is just kind of useless now, right? Okay, well, 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 what I would say is that, like, I've never been complimented so much before. Like, to think that, like, you have to comment on my rhetoric every single time I make a point is just flattering. Thank you for that. But anyways, uh, um, I think it's a... Uh, hold up. Do I need to move on to conclusions now? <laughs> like, well, this I'm point gonna, is useless. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, yeah. Okay, so you said it would be contingent on this point, whether you'd, like, assume some random thing. I think I, I slammed on this point. That's fine. We can go to conclusions. You can go first. Uh, you can go first. 
Right now I'm trying to do my homework while I'm doing this. <sighs> that is so amazing. So are you going to go first or not? Because I'm the one that told you to go first. You insisted well, on your... I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, you can go first if you want to. I think this makes more sense if you go first. Why? Like, why are you bickering on who goes first like a child? I, I, I just told you to go first, and you're like, no, you go first. Like, what are you talking about? He's just bickering like a child, dude. Okay, so are you going to go first or not? Like, stop throwing the tantrum. Like, if you're coconut, you can, you can... What do you want to say, coconut? He was. He said he was doing homework, and you're just throwing your tantrum. <laughs> like, like, literally, you just showed it. Just go first. It's not that hard. Like, are you just afraid right. of giving your all argument right. because right. you right. hadn't... Right. That's, that's fine, okay. that's fine, that's fine. I'll be generous enough to, like, go first. <laughs> Okay, oh, so, thank you for um, being. So, oh, thank you for being so generous. <laughs> no problem, Archie. Anyways, okay. So to conclude, he tried to like um, prove that like this question was relevant, and he wasn't able to do that. Like all he would do was like argue that it was relevant for his point, so that he could make his contention. And I told him that like I don't have to help him make his contention. Like that's something he can do on his own. He's a big boy. Like he doesn't need me to to hold his hand, right? And then like he changed it up to oh no, it's just a clarification question. And then I gave him my answer that was, okay, no, I didn't make any of these assertions you're saying, right? So, so I answered, I clarified it for him. And he still wants to go on a tangent about why I still have to like, answer the question in a certain way he wants to. So I did answer his questions. I, I clarified it for him. What? He wanted me to give like, a specific answer, right? So he could like, have a basis for his contention, which I didn't do. So I was able to clarify it and I was able to prove that like me answering the question that in the way that he wants it to is not something I have to do. He can make arguments himself. Okay, that, that's, okay. That's... okay so are you, are you done bitching now? Okay, so basically. <sighs> if you're going to say that like, well, I answered his question first off, you like already admitted you didn't answer the question. Like you said earlier, like multiple times that, okay, well, if you're going to and not answer the question, or if you're going to pose this question, then I don't have to answer. Like, like you've said this multiple times. So now you're just suddenly changing it up and like, now you're saying that like you did answer? Like, I'm, I'm con I think you're just like confused on what you mean. Like, what, like, what do you mean? <laughs> Like, do you think that, like, answering a question, do you think that means, res like, res refuting a question? Or, or just giving a basic response? Because, like, giving a basic response isn't necessarily answering the question. Like, if you don't answer the constant, or, like, uh, content of the question, then, like, at that point, you're not really answering the question. At that point, you're just, like, going off a random tangent, not responding to what I said. Also, like, it really said about how, like, you straw man me multiple times and about how you never actually answered my question was did god create causality but you did not answer that you just tried to move on so i suppose i'll say this since you can't answer the question as i said before i'm just going to assume right because i told you i'd assume you had no contention to this i'm just going to say that i assume that you have no actual answer so i'm going to assume the answer is a no and i'll be completely logically rational and completely logically consistent in that assumption given the fact that you had no contention when i said i was going to make this assumption and given the fact that i didn't do anything so therefore right that, that that'd just be a that'd just be a concession on the point instantly right if we're going to also respond to what he had said he's been shown being like very very irrational the entire time like, I remember he tried to say that, like, oh, apparently that my, my question was, like, in contention to this, but, like, that was my other question. Like, I had three questions the entire time. And, like, not, none of three of these questions were, like, answered. So if that's the case, then I'd have to, again, assume you hold no answer to this. Also, I'd like to make the fact earlier, right? You said to me multiple times that or I asked you multiple times, what exactly is a, what type of event are you referring to? Or how is this event, which would be an analogous apparently to some type of domino effect, right? You'd said this, that this would be an analogous to how the universe works. I asked you why you did not prove this. Therefore, again, I'd have to make the baseline assumption that you actually don't have a contention to it. 
So I'll say this, right? I think I won the point due to him, A, not being able to answer the question, B, him not proving his points, and C, him agreeing to straw manning me, meaning either way he'd be very fallacious. That's my conclusion. Okay. So again, you asked me literally. Wait, 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 no, 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 Dummy. Why do you have to like get the conclusion? What do you think? Though? Do you think a conclusion is? It's a conclusion. What do you okay, think I can a get the definition? Stop stuttering on your words. I, I can get, get the definition the, right I now. I can get the definition. Matter of fact, fact. Matter of fact. I'll, matter of fact. I'll, uh, I'll send the definition in. Right. Is the end? This is, the end of this is what a conclusion is. This is what a conclusion is. This is what a conclusion is. Right. So I'm saying. If you're not this is the conclusion, we're giving a conclusion for a verdict. So mm-hmm. I am saying it's Aristotle's Aristotle. Okay, all that definition wait, says hold on. Wait, 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 is that like it's wait, wait, to wait, 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 final comment. Wait, wait, let me ask Aristotle like, something. Let me ask Aristotle. Has to be addressed, let me like, ask Aristotle something. Doesn't make sense. Let me ask Aristotle. Let me ask Aristotle something. Aristotle, okay. can you verdict? Do you want to verdict? I mean, Aristotle can just decide whether he wants to give the verdict now or later. Yeah. Why is he missed again? Can you hear me? Yeah. Anyways, so like, am I supposed to give the conclusion now? Like the verdict and the conclusion now? No, I like the, this point specifically. That's your choice, you're the judge. Uh, I guess I'll give it now. I think page one. Okay. Yeah, so, so do you what? That, that conclusion was us, bro. What? Oh my god, why do niggas keep talking? Chinese spy king. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay if so. If you want to ask for my justification of why, you can, we can talk about this later, Archie. For now, you just continue. Okay, that is crazy. Anyways, Archie, are you are you there? Have you had enough time to process what just happened? Or should I give you a few minutes? I don't mind. Oh my god, I bet this nigga is texting Aristotle right now to change his verdict. Oh my god, the chat's always good, and that's crazy. God, Aristotle. Where did you find him? Wait, what did you word? find him? He, he doesn't word? know what a syllogism is. A did you find him in the outskirts of anime and Naruto? Okay, so Paige, what a syllogism is, is basically like a writing down of the arguments. So we'll have like the first premise, the second premise, the supporting yeah, 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 I, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. So just like write, yeah. write, write down your argument on paper so yeah. you can read it. Okay, so do you want my like, like a line of reasoning for my first oh argument? Oh my or god. Just like, uh, or just like my three premises? In general, the argument in general. Send the argument in general. The argument for what part of the debate? Like, there's multiple all parts. Of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Archie, hold on. So, so it's going to be, like, uh, premise one, premise two, premise three, and, like, each premise you, like, defended. There's, like, no, like, it's, like, a general argument for, like, your entire thing. Not for, like, an okay. individual, like, point. It's, like, your whole argument, and then you go... Send all premises and conclusion in scans one. A syllogism. Oh, okay. That's fine. I feel like this nigga is still confused. He is. Right. It's just, aren't you using the cologne? 
So your premise won't be something like everything has a cause, universe has a cause, boom, or something he, like that. No, given what he just told me, he isn't even using the correct club. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not used to having to write out arguments for the people I'm debating in a VC debate. Look, that's why. Okay, I have an example of a syllogism right here. How about, how about I send the club? How about I? How about I send the club to you? I send the club. I'm, I'm only gonna argue the things I'm writing now. Yeah. So you're not using. So you're not arguing but, the club. Uh, page, I don't. Hold on, hold on. An example. Okay, so, you, so, you're, so you're so you're not so you're not arguing the club. Wait, oh, wait, wait, where'd you, where'd you send the exam? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Gwen, you said that the completely wrong way. <laughs> and um, basically, you said the example? Yeah, sure, let me send the example. I have, to look, I, have to look, I have to look in the book. Hold on, please. Let me get the PDF. Yeah, let me let me get the PDF written by, uh, what's it called? What's his name? William Lane. Mm. Uh... Mm. Where's the syllogism at in this book? Which Hold up, hold up. All right, all right, Dom. The, 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 the collab. Ah, uh, the syllogism. For the wrong. Do, you want, do you guys want me to find it? I mean, I was going. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll write this I'm, down. Right? Is, gonna, gonna, cool? gonna, is, is this correct? Assume, shut your mouth real quick. I'm going to assume that you don't know what propositional logic or predicate logic is, so I'm just going to send in like word format. Oh, wow, you actually got it right the first time. No way. Close enough, close enough. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so P1, whatever begins to exist, has a cause, correct? Yes. Okay. I mean, Why I, I gave. We, we we already went over that. Wait, wait, wait. Can I talk for a second? So basically, and by the way, would you agree to having like coconut moderate or bomb moderate? Because sometimes Aristotle gets like lost, and I don't want any of us cutting each other off or whatever. You know what I mean? So, so bomb can moderate. Okay, but yes, okay. as I said before. All right, I'm saying. You're you you gave the are you referring to, wait just yes or no are you referring to the domino analogy? Yes, the domino analogy. So I asked why is this in analogous to the how the universe works? Okay, it's analogous to how the universe works. Okay, I gave the explanation, but I'll give it again. Okay, so um, I used the the fact that a series of events in in this case would be referencing like the beginning of the universe, right? And what happens so on from there, right? A series of events, right? Like uh, hold on, let me how to put this into words. Uh, yeah, a series of okay. events are like okay. dominoes. Just, just, Is that just, fine? Just, just take your time. Just answer I, properly. I, I, just, I just said it. Okay. What it the series, series of events are like, like dominoes. It, do you think that's analogous or not? Why is this the case? Okay, so that's can that's all based upon what the definition of series is, obviously. Okay, series is... Series. Oh, okay. Let me fucking paste that. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'll send that in chat. Hold up. Yeah, it's funny because these... no, no, not, not general, no, 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 not general scans chat. Yeah, yeah, scans, scans. Why are people typing in scans chat? Authentic memes. Okay, there you, there you go. Okay, a number of events. Okay, yeah, that's, that's specifically what I'm using. A number of events. Okay, yeah. so what does a number of events have to do with a, a domino? Okay, because it says that like um or related kind coming one after the, the other. That's how dominoes work, right? It knocks one down, then the other, then the other. It's one after the other. Like, but doesn't a, domino, doesn't a domino doesn't a domino have a have like a beginning? Yeah. The the domino so what is what is what is one coming after another have a beginning? Okay. Why can't okay, it just be an why can't it just be an infinite regression of event after event after event? Okay. The the whole idea of a see of a of like an infinite regression is just silly, right? Because the thing is like I gave example with numbers, right? C can you count down backwards to like infinity? And I asked why numbers are analogous to what we're talking about. Okay. So, so do, you, do you know what my argument even is? I'm asking why is this analogous, this number thing analogous to what we're talking about? Okay. Because I'm just using, it's like 
imagine one number is like one series of events. So one is one series of events. Two is one is like two series of events. Yeah, so but I'm, a number. I'm giving you yeah, example. but but a number, but a number has a mathematical theory and format. An, an event, such as you were referring to a causal event, does not have a mathematical number and format to how it originates. Or it could, it couldn't. It, either way, we don't know. So I'm asking, how do you know that this causal event has the same series or systematic format as a mathematical event, such as a mathematical series or set theory would have? Okay, so the thing is, when someone gives an analogy, right, you only focus on the part that matters. For instance, like, if I'm giving an analogy between, like, two strong people and you're like oh well this guy's like this color right? like it doesn't matter unless you're gonna like explain to me why the fact that it has like a mathematical formula whatever matters i don't think that's relevant because what i'm what i'm using to like base my analogy off like what i'm using to support my argument is just the fact that like it comes one after the, the other like one two three four five like and then a series of events which is like just the definition is to come one after the, the other so you're talking about how like uh, a number has like a mathematical theory or whatever isn't at all relevant. You're focusing on the wrong part of the analogy, which is why you're so confused. Do you understand that? Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I'm not confused, but um, I- I'll explain again. So, I will just address what you first said when you tried to give the like strongman analogy. It's a little bit different from a strongman analogy. The reason being is that you said, oh, well, if I compare a strongman and say, oh, well, that one's a different color, that's a little bit different. See, right now we're talking about systematic value, a mathematical set of mathematical theories and a causal event of universes. They, they have systematic values. Uh, so in a sense, in a proper analogous, you could be basically like saying, comparing strong man to strong man, but both of them have kind of different physicalities. So this man's strong because he took steroids or this man's strong because he's just genetically good. But how he got to this point in mathematical theory, such as you said, an infinite series of numbers. This is the case because they have mathematical things or something like that, right? Yeah, but when you're listening, but when we're referring to causal causal events, such as this after this after this, there isn't any mathematical theory to set it apart from. So it could just be infinite regression. It could be infinite progression. It could be really anything. But I'm just saying that, like, math math has you've listed it, it's finite. So if you're going to say that it's an analogous to what I'm saying, then you'd essentially be saying, oh, well, this is the case because um, it's analogous. So when you give an analogy, right, I'm saying that if this analogy, if you can't prove this analogy to be analogous, then I have no reason to believe that this is how causal events work in uh in synchronized format to how mathematical theories work. And yeah, Bob, that's what I'm giving. Okay, so you said something about finite, right? Can you repeat that? I didn't catch that. Okay. You're claiming mathematical theories to be um, basically saying that they can't infinitely regress, correct? We, uh, I'm saying that like uh, mathematical numbers can't infinitely regress. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so yeah, is that what you're saying? No, do you, do you want me to give my actual argument or are you just like, because I think you're confused right now. You're not understanding one. Oh my god. Wait, who, who moves Arky down? Is he lagging out again or something? Like, oh, I'm lost. I have to go. Oh my god. In, in how long? Can you wait? Uh, if I wait half an hour, I, I don't know if I'll be able to, like, finish the Hold up. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'm not going to be able to wait half an hour and then, like, continue the debate with a level of skepticism Archimedes is working at, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thirty minutes. How long can you wait? Mm. Cause like, is this nigga just gonna know I can't wait long and then just question everything and be like, yeah, page left, I won't. Brandon never joined there. You guys, I mean, the dialectics. 
if he's, he's, if he's not, not back in 10 minutes, minutes, you probably have to, like, continue it another time. Just, wait, wait, what, what did you say, Unholy? Just continue a different day. You can't blame him. He yeah, has to yeah. go. He got a life outside of Discord, unlike some of you. But, That's yeah. tough. Unlike some of you. Like, like Spencer. What? Spencer obviously doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What the hell? No comment. Wait, but Spencer's a manager at PetSmart, so you know he's doing something. <laughs> 